So I'm just at pixlr.com here. And if you haven't heard of pixlr.com, it's a, uh, you can use this for free photo editor. There's Pixlr X, Pixlr E. Pixlr X is your kind of your quick and easy graphic design. Pixlr E is kind of your more advanced one. I'm gonna have some uh, tutorials coming out on how to use these two. So this you use completely online. I'm just using the free one today and I'll be showing you the free ones. I'm gonna go to remove background here today. So remove background and you'll see this come up. I'm just going to change the size of my window here and I have some images here. Uh, one's green screen, one has a little bit of a white background and one has different uh, colors in the background just to show you the differences uh, of how quick this works. So this picture is just a green screen of me. If I open it up you can see it there. I'm going to just drag it in and you can see the background is gone in seconds. So what can I do with this now? Well I could download this. So if I hit download it downloads it as a PNG file and if I op I'll just open it up real quick so you can see the background is gone so that was green screen works super easy this picture here uh, has a little bit more to it but it's still a lot of contrast between the dog and the background but I just to show you another example drag this in uh, now so this is a large image and it's asking me do I want to use the full one uh, keep it at full HD I'm just using the web one uh, here today I'll hit apply and sometimes this happens where it does do the error. Just drag it back in again, and usually it works on uh, the second time, just like this. And notice this time, uh, in between the ears, it didn't take out that color uh, there. So I zoomed up. You can fine tune this too. So if you notice, there's some different tools up here. Uh, you could remove it. I could use uh, maybe the magic. So the magic selects a similar color. And if I go to remove, if I click on the white, it took out a bit more. But maybe then I would go to the brush and I can change the size and say, well, that's a little bit too big. I can size this down and erase. So I could take my time, go through here and erase things out. So let's try another image. This image is a little bit more happening uh, to it. You can see there's co different colors and blurred background uh, to it, but I'm gonna drag this open, oh, I put this in, apply it. So this time you can see, maybe I wanna add something back. So I could go to the fine tune here. I could go keep and maybe I'll just use the brush, make it a little bit bigger and put some back. So I could just put the green, it'll show rate. Right, maybe I want a little bit of the grass through here and it adds back. I can also do things with shapes. I could do shape cutout. So if I go remove, I could make a, I'll just do an example of a heart uh, right here. You can see how I can cut, cut out shapes. I could invert it back to see kind of what was the opposite of it uh, to, if I turn the hint on, it shows what was kind of would be taken out there. So then I can just download these. Uh, I would just click invert again and it goes back, download these and I have these transparent backgrounds. So super easy to use if you're looking for a transparent background. Uh, as I said, I'll have more tutorial tutorials coming out with, I'll start with Pixlr X, then I'll go to Pixlr E. These are great for online photo editing or graphic design. And like I said, I'm just using the free one that you can upgrade with different pricing and students and teachers can actually get free accounts.